What's going on everybody? I'm the Goods on YouTube. Today I'm going to do a real quick tutorial. Let me go into create roster. I'm on PC. This video is only for PC. It's only going to be able to help PC. Um, and the reason is because what I'm doing can't be done on PS4 or Xbox One. Alright, so go to create roster. I'm going to go down. What I'm doing today is adding some teams to this high school roster. So high school all in one roster is what I have. I've done a video on this roster before basically I'll give a quick recap if you have this roster on PC and you go into edit player they will already have their jerseys you don't need to download anything outside of the game you just download this one file in game and everything is there okay you don't have to worry about uh, trying to go on the internet and find the mods that go with this and stuff like that no you don't have to do that all right so they already have all their jerseys what i want to do today is since there are only 30 teams here i want to add a few teams a few more teams um i had this request weeks and weeks ago um and i don't always do requests but sometimes i do um if i know you know if i if i'm if it's people that I talk to on a regular basis, I might go ahead and help them out. But most of the time, uh, I get requests from people I've never heard of or I've never spoken to online at all. And those are the people that I try to not do requests for just because those are the most impatient people. Like, they're only hitting me up just so I can do something for them. And those are also people that don't even consider, like, well, anyway, forget out, forget about all that. Um, all right, so I'm just trying to show you guys something. All right, so the last team in this roster. Who's the last team? Okay, Sunrise Christian Academy is the last team in this roster. So what I'm going to do is open up Louis 2K tool, and I've done a few videos on this tool. But I'm, I'm probably not going to have the link in the description. You guys can just like use Google um, to find this on NLSC. Anyway, I'm going to go down to, let me make sure, I'm going to go to jerseys, make sure the jerseys are there. Okay, they are good. So, and another thing I want to say is I literally just started this tool. So if you see something missing like jerseys, try uh, exiting the tool. And then just start it from scratch. Let's see if it comes up for me. All right, now I can't get that tool to start, so maybe I should have left it up. All right, now I can't get his tool to start, so. they were having I'm trying to get Louis 2k tool to come up okay I guess I had to give it a second and now it is up and all right so we're gonna go to teams I'm just gonna scroll down to I could do these blank teams but I think those are for like um, expansion teams in um, my league I'm not really sure I'm just going to go down to these decade teams and just replace those. Those are the teams that I'm going to replace. So I'm going to go to the 60s All-Stars, double click it, and then scroll down to where it says type. The type says decade. I'm just going to change them to historic. All right. Then I'm going to go to jerseys. They have jerseys. They should have a court already. Let me scroll back up. Yep, they have a court. All right, that's cool. So get rid of that. The reason I'm not changing them to normal team type is because that will cause an issue if you try to play in my league with this roster. If you have too many normal team types, it's only 30 normal teams in the NBA. So... I'm changing the team type to historic, and if you start a my league, 
you can just add these um you can add these to a custom my league because you because you can add historic teams to a custom my league so all right so this has everything it needs change that to historic all right so now um the team sh should come up here as editable let's see yep there they go and they have players on them looks like it has players but the players don't show up i'm not going to go to edit player um because they're not showing up not showing up so real quick i just want to see i'm gonna go to All right, it doesn't have any face number, so I'm just going to change it to one. And now they start to appear, so I'm just going to do that for a few of these. One. And everything I'm doing, you can see on the screen. Some of you might want me to explain, but uh, basically I'm using this Limnono Trainer tool to change the face IDs from zero to one because zero is not a real face ID see so now these look like created players when before they were just blank and the issue with using a blank it, a blank um, player is that if you go to the edit player screen it just freezes all right just want to keep going down this list Recurrent player one. Recurrent player one. Recurrent player one. And I'm pushing down on my controller. If I use my controller, it goes down in the game. Um, some of you might be saying, how's he going down the list? So that's how I'm doing that. One, go down. Oh man, how many players are on this team? It's a lot of players on this team. Alright, I think we reached the last one. Alright, so I'm going to press insert. I don't know how many players are on this team. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, it's only 15. Anyway, so now I would need to do the same thing over on this team, and I'm going to do that off. Uh, well, I, I guess I, I could do it on camera. I don't really want to do it on camera. What I'll do is I'll just do a couple of these guys. Recurrent player one. Recurrent. I guess I might as well just go through all of them. Sorry guys, sorry to make you sit through this. You can just fast forward the video if you want. I just try to at least get most of these guys. Oh my goodness. Do, 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 do. I'm trying to get through this. This is what I have to do. All right, that's the last player. Okay, great. Now I'm going to save this roster. And I could rename the roster, but I, I'm not going to do that. So, well, I mean, I could rename the team. I'm not going to do that. Take too long. It doesn't take too long, but... I'm just not gonna do it. So save and share, and gonna put it in. Uh, high school, do I wanna overwrite the one that I currently have? Yes, I'll do that. All right. So then I'm going to, ah, uh, shoot, I forgot about this. Um. I'll just do it as this one. 
na I need all of these, so I guess I have to do this. I need to rename it. High School Fictional with Jerseys. Alright, so that's the one. Alright, I'll use that one. Alright, so High School Fictional with Jerseys. Okay, great. So everything is done. I'm just going to press OK. And then I just got to go in game and test it out. Make sure it works. Hopefully it does. All right. They're not letting me upload it. That's an issue. Try that again. I don't know why sometimes this game has issues saving stuff to the online portion. All right, hopefully it finishes up because I need to test this in game. All right, upload is completed. Let's go test this. I'm not going to test it in my league. I just want to make sure it comes up in the play now menu. This video is too long. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm probably not even going to make a thumbnail for this video. Again, you can just skip ahead. Oh, my goodness. All right. So they're telling me there's an issue with, um, Connecting online. Now I'm trying to load up a roster and the screen is just loading, loading, loading. All right. Okay. Do, 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 do. If I change, all right, classic teams, yeah, they come up. All right, that works. All right, so that's really the end of the video. Well, it looks like it works. I um, actually have some other things to do. So I'll probably end the video there. Uh, well, I guess I'll let the CPUs play each other, see if that works. Alright guys, till next time, I'm gone.